so that we may not be able to see the spring from this wall of rock, but we can surely find it just anywhere near. Let's listen, suggested Dinah. So they all stood perfectly still and listened. Shh, said Kiki annoyingly. Jack smacked her on the beak. She gave a dis dismal squawk and sat silent. And in the silence of the peaceful mountainside, the children heard the tinkle of water. Merry gurgling sound, cheerful and thrilling. I can hear it, cried Lucy in delight. It comes from somewhere over there. She leapt across a little thicket of trees. And there, hidden deep in the flower of strewn grass, bubbled a clear spring trickling down the hillside, a tiny stream of crystal cold water. The moment we were all shaking hands with one another and asking one another how we did and telling one another how glad we were to meet and all talking at once. Mr. Pigotti was so proud and overjoyed to see us that he did not know what to say or do, but kept over and over again shaking hands with me and then with Dear Forth and then with me and then ruffling his shaggy hair all over his head and laughing with such glee and triumph that, that it was a treat to see him. From time to time, I received letters reminding me that some people are greatly disturbed by the reform and renewal of the church. From the reproachful tone of the protests, I gather that this is considered somehow to be the fault of Catholic writers and editors, who, it is apparently felt, should be soft-peddling or fogging facts or withholding them. Those who by implication suggest such a procedure forget that it would involve a betrayal of the obligation which a newspaper owes to its readers. If the picture you have given me of this unfortunate woman is quite accurate, I fear there is a very great deal wrong. Actually, this is a problem for a psychiatrist and I am simply not competent to pass any kind of judgment on the matter except to indicate certain possibilities and some avenues of remedial action. But before I explore these, etc.